Okay, so if you follow me on Snapchat, then you know this video is take two. I have already done this look about an hour ago, but the microphone wasn't plugged in, so I'm refilming it. So I already know what look I'm going to do. I'm using the new, well, it's still new, Morphe 3502 palette. So if you want to see that look, then just stay tuned. Okay, so I've already gone ahead and filled in some of my brows and applied a primer using the Tarte Shape Tape. Now I'm just going to go in with the Morphe 3502 and as always a little, uh, you know, smaller palette will appear on the screen so you can see what shades I am using. And for my lid, I'm going to do red. I feel like that is one of the reasons why people are so drawn to this, just because of the two reds that it has in here. So couldn't do a look without using them, you know? Let's just... And now I'm gonna use this shimmer red right on top of this matte red. So I'm just gonna put on some liner and some lashes, then I'll be right back to finish the rest of my face. Okay, so this is a full face of makeup that we are going for here. So I'm going to prime using the Kane and Austin Prime and Protect Mattifying Primer. Now for a foundation, I'm going to use the Fenty Pro Filter in 450 and the Too Faced Born This Way in Coco. Good old shape tape for concealer. To contour, I'm gonna use my good old Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette, the powder version. I would open it and show you the shade, but it's broken and it would fall everywhere. Um, but it is the medium to dark one. So 
to highlight my face, I'm going to use the Maybelline Mastochrome in Molten Gold after I spray it with some Fix Plus. And for lipstick, I told you guys I was going to find some way to use this in a video very soon. It is Too Faced Melted Matte Lady Balls. Okay, so I went ahead and added this shade from the Morphe palette to my inner corner and then I topped that off with this shade. You can see the red in it here from the Tarte, what are you, the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. And then the red that I had used, the matte red that I had used for my lid, I just applied to my bottom lash. So let me just quickly tell you about this Morphe 3502 palette. Morphe stepped up their game, okay? They heard all the complaints that people were making and they were like, look, we're not about to step into Sephora and be played, okay? Um, first of all, the packaging is different. It's still that, you know, plasticky, whatever you want to call it, but um, this looks, where's the, oh wait, no, they're the same size. I thought this looked a little bit smaller, but this is the 350 palette. Um, they're the same size, same packaging, but as you can see, their logo has changed. This is a lot sturdier. 3502 is a lot sturdier than the 350. Um, let me open up the 3502. So the 3502 comes with shade names on a little plastic piece of paper my 350 350 did not come with that but when i purchased the jaclyn hill palette that did come with shade names and i believe the new like rebranded jaclyn palette has the shade names like on the packaging because that's, i'm going to lose this um this is what the 3502 looks like um it's got some kickback in it it's not sephora pro editorial palette kickback but there is some kickback and the fallout is pretty minimal again not the sephora pro editorial type of fallout here um so i've got no issues with that now in the jaclyn hill review palette review that i did um what i mentioned is that the one thing that i had an issue with when it comes to morphe palettes are their matte eyeshadows i just felt they were a tad bit drying <laughs> bruh um, these shadows, the shimmers, the mattes, they all feel really buttery, which makes them a whole lot easier to blend. But these mattes, I feel like you could see it. They blended beautifully when I was applying them to my transition and crease. Um, the shimmer, the red shimmer, something was a little weird with that. I mean, um, usually when it comes to shimmers, I feel for myself at least that when I pat them onto my lid, I get more color payoff. But, um... I think you I think I did it on sorry I think I did it in this video where I started patting the red shimmer onto my lid and then I was like I don't I don't see anything so then I started um, more so dragging it I want to say not dragging it but I started dragging it onto my lid and I feel like I got a better pay off with that it could just be these these shimmers it doesn't mean you know it doesn't work it's just if you are someone who pats on your shimmers you might want to drag them when it comes to these um what else oh the pigmentation when you're when you're dark skin you get excited when a palette has pigmentation on its own um if you do do things like you know white bases the pigmentation is going to be 10 times brighter but i was you know trying this out to see you know how it works on its own and i feel like the pigmentation is there with this palette let's see uh my hands i was gonna do some swatches but my hands are really uh covered in everything because again this is the second time that i have done this video but there is one shimmer shade and let's get one matte shade so there is there is one shimmer shade and there is one random matte shade. Um, I'm just really impressed here with Morphe. Uh, not really sure what else there is to say on that. I hope you guys liked this zero to a full glam makeup look. 
Um, I hope you liked some of my thoughts on the Morphe 3502 palette. And that is pretty much it. So make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>